Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's talk about the detailed view in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So the detailed view is the enlarged view for a small section. So whenever we don't have enough space to add all the details for a small portion, then we just create the detailed view to add all the details for that portion. The detailed view will be always scaled up and you can easily set the scale factor somewhere here. So you can control the scale as per your requirement. Now the detailed view can be created for a section view or for a full view. So if you do any changes to the parent view, the detailed view will automatically update. So if I remove the section view from this view, the detailed view will automatically update. So by default, the detailed view will be totally dependent on the parent view. So let's create the detailed view and understand all the process. So for that, I'll first delete this view. Now I'll create the detailed view one more time. So to create the detailed view, go to detailed view, select a center point for the detailed view and then draw a boundary using spline, just like this. Do not overlap, just press middle mouse button to close the boundary and place the detailed view. So you have created the detailed view. Now when you create the detailed view, you have multiple boundary type. So currently it is ASME 94 circle. You can change it to circle, apply it, say OK and you see. Now the boundary type is circle. Similarly, you have variety of options here. I will go for this. I just say apply, say OK. Now once again, if I add a section to this full view, let's say I am going for section A, I will just apply it and say OK. You see the same section you got in the detailed view. So detailed view is totally dependent on the parent view. Now in case when you are creating a detailed view, you want to make these edges smooth. Then in that case, before you create the detailed view, First, you draw a circle. Somewhere here. Move the circle to the required position. Just like this. And then you go for detailed view. Again, first you select a center point and then draw the boundary using spline. Now this time, you just trace this circle. Again, don't overlap, just press middle mouse button to close the boundary and then place the detailed view. Now you go to sketch, select the sketch and delete the sketch. Now you see, you got a smooth edge. So this is how we create detailed view in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and you can subscribe to this channel to support the channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.